hello friends welcome to the channel it simplified i hope you're having a good time with your family and friends in today's video nature i'm here to talk about storage service encryption and disk encryption within azure and why you should be using that so let's start so once you deploy your machines within the azure environment you are uh, your storage account is encrypted with storage service encryption. That is by default, and it has been since, I think, uh, 2017. So the, the files which are there within that are also encrypted at rest. So if that's the case, why do you need uh, uh, this encryption, which I'm going to show you in a portal in a moment? Uh, the reason for that is, yes, this is secured. So Microsoft is providing that uh, a capability with storage service encryption, because once you deploy the machines, by default, the storage account is created, whether you're using managed disk or unmanaged disk. When it comes to managed disk, it's Microsoft's responsibility to create that in the back end, right? You don't, there is not extra step of creating the storage account. But your machines, uh, or where your files within that are encrypted at rest with the storage service encryption. But what happens is that once you boot up those machines and run that, the, the files needs to be decrypted. In order to run that. And uh, what I can do or any bad guy, they can come and they can just download that VHD file and then they can use it and get the content in that one. With Azure disencryption, it further locks the system. So what you can do is with Azure, I will put a short form for, you can further, so yes, that machines, those uh, storage account are encrypted at rest. So what you can do is with Azure disencryption, which in the back end is using Key Vault. Key Vault is another service within Azure to store uh, your keys and your secrets. You can encrypt your VHD files you will why they're running. So I can come or any bad guy can come and they can download and walk away, but that file is uh, encrypted. It's gonna be of no use. So it's give you extra layer of security. There is no specific price point for uh, disencryption, but because it is using key vault to store your secrets, uh, uh, and your keys, there is a there is a charge for that, and there are two options. I think there is a standard and premium. Uh, you can have your own HSM. You can do, but uh, standard will do the job for you. So, in order to show that, let me just flip over to the Azure portal, and you can see I have this machine with the name VMS. And if I go inside and go into the disk, you see that. Uh, First thing it's saying, managed disk created since 2017 are encrypted with storage service encryption, but you can also may enable Azure description, which I've explained you, which gives you extra layer of uh, security because once the machines are in running state, that needs to be de-encrypted and I can just download this uh, operating system disk and I can export this and then, uh, you know, uh, the bad guy can use it for whatever way you want. But once I encrypt it, and you can see that it is not enabled. So under encryption, it is not enabled. So what I can do is I can just go to this key sign under the encryption, and uh, it is asking me what I want to encrypt, o operating system, OS, and data disk. So let's pick that. And as I said that, it is using keyword in the back end. If you have already created one, you can go over here. But if you want to create new, you can just go and create a new key vault key and the version that you want to use. So let me just go because I already have one. Here, I'll pick my key vault, which is with the name by my key vault 101. I'll pick my key, which is with the name key one, and I'll select the version. That's the version and click on select. And once that is selected, 
I'm gonna go and click on save and that will make the machine to reboot, which is normal. And then we'll come back and see if our machines, uh, if our disks are encrypted. So let's go and click on yes. And it's saying updating the disencryption. So let me just pause the video. Welcome back. So you can see that it has successfully updated the disencryption settings. So let's test by going back. I'm gonna close this window. And now I, if I just need to refresh the page, I believe. I should see that uh, encryption should be enabled. Now you can see that uh, encryption has been enabled. And even if somebody wants to go and uh, download this via uh, SAS signature, that file will be encrypted and it will be of no use to you. So in this video, we'll saw what is the difference between storage service encryption and uh, Azure disencryption and how we can utilize this. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.